First, let me open the file. Then, create a new layer to work on and hide the background layer. Now, I have to color the lemon. So, let me select the set foreground color and choose green as the base color from the color picker pop-up. Next, let me change the color mode to RGB. A pop-up appears asking me if I want to merge the layers. I click on Don't Merge. Let me create some shades of green which is the base color. Let's do this using the pencil tool. I create say 7 sample shades of green. Let me place the sample spots in such a way that it progresses from a light green to a dark green shade. The paint bucket tool enables me to fill color from the samples. Now I'm going to shade the lemon using a sample which is two shades darker. But first let me select the lemon using the magic wand tool. Otherwise, you will end up shading outside of the lemon too. Now to shade, select the brush tool and increase its size using square bracket keys to sweep it across the lemon. I keep sweeping the brush smoothly till I get the desired color. I continue choosing samples and sweep the brush near the tip of the lemon. Depending on the area I'm shading, I'll increase or decrease the brush size. Now let me add more depth to the lemon using the brush splatter. I start with increasing the brush size and adjusting the opacity and flow. Next, I go to modes and choose multiply. Then I select the shade that is lightest. I continue to change the settings till I am satisfied with the shading effect. Doesn't the lemon look too raw in green color? Let me lighten it using the modes lighten option. Now I want the minute pores on the lemon also to be visible. Let me increase the contrast. To do this, I select modes and choose color burn. Do you notice the minute pores on the lemon's body as I sweep the color burn tool? To enhance the shading, let me experiment with the different modes and also toggle between the background and foreground color.
Next step is to give a shadow effect. To do this, let me select the burn tool and make some changes to the size and exposure. Don't you think some parts of the lemon still look dark? Let me lighten it using the dodge tool. Now that I have finished the shading, let me erase the samples. Uh oh, the background too gets erased. So, I undo this step and click on the pencil tool and choose white color to cover the samples. I zoom in and out to see the color shading effect. You see this black outline now? It needs to go. Let me first select the background layer and hide layer 1. Select the outline using color range. Then expand the selection. Now create a copy of layer 1 and hide it. Next hit the delete key. Do you see the black outline is gone now? Finally let me deselect using Ctrl D. The lemon looks so real now. I save the final image in PSD and JPEG format.